I think that's part of the teaching, is to understand that when we reach for more, we will experience resistance. When it comes to personal development, I think really any kind of healing, spiritual development, growth, any kind of growth and learning, resistance is embedded so profoundly into the work that the question is a little overwhelming. It's like talking about air, like it's everywhere. There's lots of, it's so pervasive. It's like, wait, what are you asking me? Like, what, are you asking me what it's like to breathe? Are you asking me what the, the um, chemical breakdown of oxygen, hydrogen atoms look like? Like, what are we talking, because we can come at it from infinite angles. I think that's part of the teaching, is to understand that when we reach for more, we will experience resistance. It's inevitable because we're human. And our humanity combines our soul's desire to grow with our reptilian brain's desire to stay protected. But I think it's even, even more uniquely to the human being is that we have the power to choose. Like naming the resistance to give credit to it is that it gives us that choice. If there were no resistance, we would just grow, 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 grow. Infinitely, indefinitely. There would be no contrast, there would be no struggle, there would be no doubt, there would be no insecurity, there would be no imposter syndrome, there would be no reason to consider alternatives. And so, I think that's the, the so the first teaching is resistance is a part of it. Don't expect anything else. Second teaching is that it's not a bad thing. The presence of resistance is an indication that you are growing. That contrast is what makes the growth in the direction that you're reaching for so empowering, exciting, meaningful. I think it's important to name that resistance generally feels incredibly painful or uncomfortable. It's not a trivial thing. It's, it's not an intellectual thing. It, it, although, although the intellect can be roped in to generate resistance, um, the, the essence of resistance is not an intellectual one, it's a feeling one. And when you are face to face with that resistance, it can feel like you're gonna die. Everyone has experienced resistance to growth and change, everyone. But the kind of resistance that shows up in the work that I do with people is unique to exponential growth that is chosen, right? Like it's not, this is not gonna happen by accident. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind where you're like, all right, I'm putting on my packing gear, I am walking up Mount Everest. Like you're not gonna end up on that mountain by accident. You're not gonna end up hiking the whole thing just by chance, you're gonna plan that, you're gonna decide that, you're gonna work for it. So I think that's really important to recognize that the resistance that I'm talking about, the, the reason it's so intense is because it is correspond, this, the intensity of it corresponds to the magnitude of the change that people are creating. Everything you want.